Welcome back to Praxero channel. We are back with Alfred Hitchcock Vertigo. Last time we had a long session with Ed and we were doing the hypnosis and look in many of his childhood memories of his father who seems to be abusive and alcoholic um, and that his mother was pregnant again. So I'm pretty sure he didn't even know he's going to have a sibling. So interesting. So thank you so much for everybody who is joining me on this journey. I appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. That will help me greatly. And without further ado, let's go ahead and continue. All right. We're going to go over our notes, I assume, or something. Okay, order something for dinner, go over afternoon session and call Robert. Okay, inform Robert. Well, I'm all for, I'm all for food first, people. <laughs> uh, is there anything I can, okay, tablet. No, 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 we don't gonna review the session's notes right now because I feel Oh, look at this. This is an angle of the motel. A bit dirty, dirty. Uh, looks like a very dirty. Oh, there's a phone over there. Um, inform. That would be for informing. No. And let's call and order food. Yep. Mrs. Lomas, is there anything I can get you? Um, You don't do... Dinners, by any chance, do you? No, but there is a wonderful restaurant in Santa Anita, about five oh, miles from here. Oh, thank you. I think I'll order in. It's been a long day. Oh, good luck with that. They don't usually deliver here. I could make you something, if you'd like. Just this one time, I can add it to your bill. Would you like anything in particular? Anything you have is fine. If we can do without animal products... Just give me a few minutes and I'll bring you something, okay? Okay. Perfect. Now, let's check our cell phone. I don't want to go over the notes. But we spent so much time with Ed. Like, let's have a break from him. You're not even going to reply. Just a little message. Hello? Just say you don't want to talk and I'll understand. I need to hear your voice. It soothes me. If you were trying to make me feel like, oh, okay. I need your the best thing that happened to me. I don't know what the hell I did to you. Treat me like, oh, okay. I was reading it too slow. Apparently. Okay, some crazy stalker slash boyfriend. Maybe patient. You know, things can happen. I guess right now we will go and review the notes because we're waiting for a sweet dinner. But like, this is not... Listen, this is not a hotel, motel, whatever that is, I would like to stay, but... It's just what I thought. Mm. Ed is unconsciously repressing some of his memories or distorting yes. them. But did he block things out himself or with the help of someone else? Good question. Claire held him, probably. Yes. Claire was avoidant when I asked her about Ed's past. What if she played a part in that repression by being elusive, keeping quiet, pretending certain things never happened? Mm-hmm. What if Ed, aside from fulfilling his father's dream of becoming a writer followed in his footsteps in other ways. What if, by driving himself off a bridge, Ed was trying to copy his father? I don't know if Ed rebelled against John. Hmm, I don't know. Or maybe it was none of that. Maybe Ed feels guilty for having rebelled against his father. 
really uncertain about that one. What about his mother? How does one deal with a situation like that? How should I know? Maybe she uh, had a child and then died. What if a possible sibling Ed has never mentioned is one of the memories he's repressing? Too many questions. I hope Robert has some answers. Okay, now we're gonna call Robert or in inform Robert. It's tough for me to, you know, we were not being told a part of the story yet. So, okay, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take it, take it. Hey, sweetie, you must be exhausted. Did you find a motel? You should have let me do it for you. And that would be better. You would have picked something way too fancy. Yes. Right. No. Yeah. Of course. You just deserve much exactly. more. Exactly. So Not this horrible place. tell me. How is that? You know I can't. But I'm paying for it. That's not going to work. No, no, yeah, of course. Uh, I know, I know. But he'll be all right, right? It's not going to be easy with him. It's still too soon to tell, but it's not going to be easy. Hey, dish the dirt. So, what do you think of his Aunt Claire? Crazy. Have you known her for long? Just over the phone these last few days, but uh, hey, don't change the subject. Well, she's definitely hiding something for sure. I don't know. I think she's hiding something. Uh, yeah, I totally get it. Well, I have some bad news. She doesn't like me. She doesn't like me, does she? She called me a little while ago. On the one hand, she says you're very professional, and she likes how punctual and responsible you are. Oh. And the bad news? She's thinking about moving things out of Ed's room so you can bring in the equipment. Does she think I'm going to use brain scanners? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, physical therapy equipment, walkers and stuff. I don't think she realizes you're a psychiatrist or a psychologist. What is it? I, don't, I always forget. Both. Really? Well, the lady has a whole different picture. Um, I still don't understand why that's a bad thing. Hold on. Ed hates psychiatrists. I'm sure Claire does, too. No, no. Uh, yeah, for sure. When they find out. Ed already knows and seems okay with it. As for her, time will tell. Mm. Give me a second. I need to think. Yeah, sure. Take your time, sweetie. I'm in no hurry. Although I did order some dinner, and it should be here any minute now. Mine as well. Tell me about Ed's parents. Well, don't know much. His mother died in a car accident. What? And his baby sister. Mm. So she had it. And his father killed himself. Oh, I wouldn't have thought. How? He jumped from a bridge. And you didn't think to tell me this before? Well, I, uh, no. It just slipped my mind. Ed is following in his father's footsteps. And I'm sure his first episode of Vertigo came as a result of that trauma. Yeah, rings a bell. Robert. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Hello. 
How did you meet Ed? Through a mutual friend, one of his college professors. Mm. She gave me his manuscript. I loved it, and we met up. The novel was a diamond in the rough, but it needed a lot of editing. Lucky for him, he was talking to the best editor in Los Angeles. It was a few months worth of work. He would come over, we'd read, talk, drink. Okay, were you close? You and Ed, were you pretty close? Yeah, kind of. He became a good friend of mine until Vera... Robert? Yeah, uh, no. Sorry. Are you all right? Yeah. No, um, uh, I don't know. What's going on? Yesterday, no, um, the day before yesterday was the anniversary of Veronica's death. I completely forgot about it. It's been eight years, and that's never happened to me before. Okay, do you want to talk about it? Do you want to talk about it? No, yeah, it's fine. It's just weird. It's like I'm... I remember. You said this would happen, didn't you? In our last session. Possibly. Oh, dinner's here. I'll be right back. Okay. I don't know what it's in those drawers. Oh, can okay, be closing it. Good. She is nice and neat. Why would you ah, not go to get a hotel? A bachelor's best friend. Hey, how's Lou? Worse than ever. He's getting worse. That's my food. Oh my, a visit this late, doctor? Oh, come on. I eat too. Yeah, right. Of course. I'll leave you to it, sweetie. Bon appétit. Talk soon, yeah? Bon appétit. Gee, Lou, it's getting... Mrs. Lomas... Your dinner's gonna get cold. You get there, the man and made it for you extra special. You wanna be kind to people who are kind to you. If they are truly kind. Like making an extra food when the kitchen is closed. That is kindness, people. Oh no, yes! Finally back to the sheriff. I was hoping to be back. This store is getting weirder and weirder. We need to find um, the missus. Oh. All right, kid. Let's go. Is that it, Adam? He would not be happy. We didn't tell him and... What's up? You... You should have told me first, I know. Adam. I want to tell you in person. I wanted to tell you as soon as I saw you. It didn't seem right to tell you on the walkie-talkie. I should have heard it from you, not by accident. Hmm. I'm sorry, man. Kid. We have to find my yeah. aunt. We'll find your aunt. And the son of a bitch that killed your uncle. She's alive, right? She's alive. Harley is getting ready for the biggest search party you've ever seen, Adam. We've already got over a hundred volunteers coming. We'll find her. Okay. All right? Let's go. Yeah, I was hesitant about if I should go him, let him first, and I get it. I get it. He should know from us first. Sure you don't want me to go down there? But I've done this before. Just pay attention. Give me more or less slack when I tell you to, okay? Why are we uh, going to recline down? Um, and do we think that she is down there? You think there's a connection, don't you? between my uncle and Ed Miller. According to the forensics, your uncle died... was murdered. A little over a week ago. I would say he was 
planning to go fishing with him? The same day, or maybe the following. He was going to go fishing with Miller. We are talking pretty much the same day that Miller's car went over that cliff. And then Jackass says he was riding with a girl and a baby that no one's ever heard of. That's maybe the mom and the her sister. The fireman went down and didn't find anything. We don't put out fires and they don't find things. Hmm. All right, go for it. But like, why would you dispose her like this? Um, you could just have them both in a basement. I'm just saying. I mean, it's horrible crime. But why go for the trouble? You know, you're gonna destroy your car. Now you're gonna be suspect. I'm on the ground. I'm on clipping. All right. It's not gonna hide anything well, truly. Okay. Well. Poor Sheriff, how many uh, dead bodies he can see in one Roger week? that, boss. Make sure the rope is stable, <sighs> Adam. I don't want to have any nasty surprises when I'm down there. I skipped the monthly dinner, Nick. Oh. Mm, no reason. I just didn't feel like it. I don't know why. Just didn't, you know. Ooh, I know. That's bad. I'm pretty sure he feels bad. I just stayed home, watched some stupid yeah. show with Marcello. Maybe if I had gone. None of this is your fault, man. None of what happened. Is your fault. The real culprit is out there, and we're going to find him. Okay? Sure, we will. I get why you feel that way, and I have no idea how one gets rid of that feeling. However much time goes by, all I know is that it's pointless. Yeah. It's like a busted pipe. The more you force it, If that doesn't make you smile, <laughs> I don't know what hmm. will. Asshole. Let's go to the car. This is actually the storyline I'm really interested in and I'm really enjoying the most. Okay, so cab. You know, I kind of have a dislike of Ed, even though God knows what his childhood was, but I'm enjoying this particular... Ooh. without the scar oh oh what we i hope that it's not the memory of his mother going off the cliff you know Ed's mother oh boy it is so he maybe has a little thing for ed I don't even want to know how tough this must be to see a little, you know, there was a, I guess, a little child and maybe Ed, maybe, maybe he saved Ed when he was little. Maybe he was, well, I hell I doubt actually. Almost a little bit personal. Nick. Nick. Maybe. You there? Maybe he knew her just, well. Just what I said in the car. I'm sorry. Adam. How are you getting poetic with me? Well, 
Well, did you look down? Maybe trunk. Okay, we have our gloves. Nice. Oh. I mean, what about an insurance company getting there, taking the car out? What the hell? All right, so let's check the gas tank while we at it. Is there any fuel? Okay. Okay, I possibly not the best detective here. Okay, let's open the door, I guess. Or maybe jam, so careful. Oh, yeah, 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 oops. Okay. Oh. Oof. Challenge done. Oh boy, I don't know, is it safe? Okay, there's bottle of something. Okay. Why I cannot... Okay, glove compartment. Oh wow, it doesn't wanna to... It is the glove compartment, it's... Guys, it doesn't wanna... Okay. Okay. Gun! Sure. That doesn't mean anything. Okay. Conceal carry, you know, um, we have a glove, you can touch it hopefully, but we should still not mess around with evidence, possibly evidence, right? No, I want to see the bottle, don't go, go back, oh boy, okay. If he was drinking alcohol and was under the influence, we should... Adam, tell Harley to call forensics, we've got work for them. Okay, check the bottle. They didn't say actually how his uncle was killed, so I don't know, maybe he was sh shooting the back? I don't know. There was no exit wound on the other side, but... No! It's too early, John, I don't... Do you even listen to me when I talk? Next week. Oh, here we go again. Next week. There's no traffic now. You know how it gets. If we don't leave before sunrise, we don't get there until lunchtime. I mean, honestly. <sighs> Next week, we should leave at a reasonable time. The kids need their rest. You're saying that as if I didn't care. Not again, please. I'm their father. Are you saying I don't care? No one said that, John. No okay. one. Okay. Have you been drinking? And now you're driving? You're not gonna win this fight. Mm -mm. Okay. It's over. He doesn't like red, uh, so let's take a blue, I guess. Maybe I should go for green. I don't know why I said he doesn't like red. Maybe because of the juice. I don't know. I told you so! <laughs> I told you! He was wrong! Oh no, the baby! The baby!
pretty horrible. Why am I telling you this? It's important. It's important, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. And it's a little crazy. <sighs> it's not just the money, is it? You shrinks are all addicted to other people's pain. You... You get off on it. Tell me about your father. About his... See, case in point. Hmm. Please. Oh, no. Can I be sheriff again? Please. Okay. Aunt Claire really loves you, huh? If she brought me all those books, I would have never left my room. I would say ignore. What about the birthday cake she's making for you, huh? Come on. Let's see if you remember the ingredients we have to buy. I don't care. Ignore. Okay. I'll say one, and then you say one. Baking powder. Eggs. No. Flour. Yes. Butter. Yes. Molasses. Yes. Why are you stopping here? This boy, it's dramatized. Why are you stopping on a edge of a... Oh gee, that's where he's gonna jump? What the hell? Okay, I uh get close without him noticing, run to him. I guess this is, was his first vertigo too. It's what a trauma, like for, you know, for a little boy to survive a car crash and, a, you know, death of his mom and sister. Well, I guess that was a little sister baby. I held up my side of the bargain. Then seeing his father. Somebody must be exhausted from all that listening. Mm -hmm. So, vegan sandwich before going back home, hmm? Oh, you douche. Okay, you're gonna be here. You know, um, uh, you do know that what you told me is not how things really happened, <laughs> right? <sighs> Addicts. <laughs> <sighs> that wasn't enough for you? You need a Double dose of tragedy? <laughs> look at the spiral, Yeah, look at the please. spiral. We will go hmm. and analyze again. Um, you got me out of the hospital. You're a friend of Robert's. Look at the spiral. But, mm -mm 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 -mm. you've just used up the last favor I owe you. Okay. So, next ones. Sandwich. Car, road, bed. Got it? I'm not going anywhere until you're better. You're nine. Your parents woke you up in the middle of the night to go on a trip. 
You fell asleep in the car. Your sister is next to you. You hear your parents and gradually you wake up. I'm... I... I am... No! Yeah, you wake up. You have several plastic figurines. Can you describe them to me? Soldiers. There. They are from... Please, no. No. Wake up, Eddie. No. Oh, I missed it. Wake up. No. Wake up. No. Wake up. Come on, man. All right. Seems that, I mean, as we know with the previous memories, like things are truly different. And I think his mind is definitely protecting, he, he you know, he's protecting himself per se from, you know, maybe some traumatic no, experience. damn it. I can't do this anymore, John. I can't. Do you even listen to me when I talk? Next week. What did you promise me, hmm? Next week. For richer, for poor, oh, in boy. sickness, and in health. Until death fucking do us part! God damn it. Next week, I'm taking the kids, and I'm leaving. The sooner you get to be in with your him. head. Am I right? Ooh, our Not sheriff. Again, please. Father, you seriously think I didn't know about that? That I don't know who he is? There's nobody, John. Nobody. You're not gonna tear this family apart. Mm-mm. He deliberately caused the accident, and that is... I can't even believe it, but... Okay, let's analyze this. Not that I want to, but it's important. Do you go from San Francisco to Cerro Lake? every weekend mainly in the summertime the house in san francisco is really small and dad says his imagination doesn't fit inside so it ends up jumping out the window especially now that they've turned his office into jenny's room right hmm mm. mm -hmm. mom before you said your mother winked at you at that point but actually, she only looked at you. Why? She would do that sometimes. Why did you forget the last look she gave you, Ed? I don't know. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything. Okay. Little Jenny. Do you know why your mom decided to have Jenny? I don't get it. She was just a little seed. It's kind of a tough question for a little boy. Why she decided. I should have asked how old she was. Okay, well, then let's do this memory and maybe then we will call it an episode. No, oh, his father is such a piece of... Of course, he was drinking. Oh, he is no rush to go and get his... Oh, sweet lord, no. Uh. Mm 
That is even worse than I can ever imagine. Uh. Uh. Ooh. Do we have to relive this? I would rather not. But okay, let's analyze this. Oh man. I wonder why. It seems like Ad it's sort of like idolizing his father for some reason. I don't know why. Did you hurt your collarbone? The doctor will say the seatbelt saved me, but it burnt my skin. Okay, there's the car. Okay, look at mom. She's asleep, isn't she? You know she's not. You know she's not, Eddie. Yeah, she got knocked out. And Jenny. She's crying. Jenny's crying. Is she okay? You know she is not. You know she's not, Eddie. Right? I think that's all we have to do in here. Other than looking at the flask. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so we missed something secondary. Um, let's analyze again because we are missing something secondary. So, and you know me, I want to have the 100%. Oh man, we can really get close to. Okay, nothing with his dad. It's only just the car. So let's look at the car. And again, did I miss something? Oh, tire. Okay, tire. That's what I missed. Before, you told me a blowout caused the accident. Yep. But you didn't hear anything, did you, Ed? That's what dad will tell the police. Hmm. Right. All right, so now we have everything from this memory and now we're gonna analyze this one. See how he kicked it? Okay. Look at myself again. Do you still have that figure? Possibly. I'll lose it. Okay. And look at your horrible father will your father keep drinking from that day until his last aunt claire won't let him aunt claire she'll come from san bernardino to take care of us okay well great we are 100 percent wonderful so we can end the hypnosis maybe hopefully end the day go back to our horrible motel have another dinner and uh, call it a day. Uh, 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 what happened? You don't remember? It's kind of an issue. Ed. Nothing I can tell you. I've got to tell you the truth. I don't know. All right. You have to know the truth. I should have waited. I feel like he should wait. Your father did something that... Oh, now he's going to interrupt the session. because Is he going to arrest him? Or maybe take him to station? Okay. Because of the pit. Maybe the forensic. He's in rehab. You can't go in there. What did you do, Miller? Sheriff Reyes. That's me. What the hell did you do? Okay. Dr. Lomas? That's me. Oh, uh, sorry. I, uh, should... Um, I have to talk to Mr. Miller. Could you wait outside just a minute? I'm sorry to inconvenience you, but...
Okay, he's my patient and I'm not leaving. Mr. Miller is my patient. Whatever you need to tell him, it will be in front of me. I understand your predicament, Doctor. But it's serious. I wouldn't be asking you if... I understand your predicament as well, Sheriff. You barged into my patient's room without permission. What's so urgent? All right, people. I think what we will do here, we will go ahead and end the episode right here. And the <laughs> little cliffhanger, because now definitely the sheriff is going to confront Ed. And I believe that maybe the, the forensic uh, match some of the footprints, uh, fingerprints on the pistol. We'll, we'll see on the handgun. We'll see. But um, I'm curious about this case. It's, you know, it's, it's getting more and more information about what happened to Ed. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode. I really do appreciate that. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. That will help me greatly. And if you're coming back to my channel for Vertigo, or any other series, consider subscribing. I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.